What is up guys, Rick? My computer completely died on me last night. Kak is here. Thank you so much for stopping by to the laptop setup. And today, we are going to be discussing an absolutely phenomenal weapon that no one is talking about. Seriously, I haven't seen any Twitter posts or anything saying, hey, look at my god roll, even though this weapon has a god roll that rivals some of the top tier weapons out there. And so, let's get started. But just before we do, if you want to fund my brand new PC that I had to emergency buy, uh, check out the Advanced GG link in the description down below. Best gaming supplement out there and use code KHD. But let's talk about this weapon. Now, it's actually a Trials of Osiris weapon. Right now, a lot of people are saying the current Trials weapons on offer, the Scout Rifle, uh, the Fusion Rifle, and the Rocket Launcher, like they just aren't that good. But actually, the Rocket Launcher is cracked. But part of the reason I think people are overlooking it is because it drops in the pinnacle PvP activity. And so everyone is just looking for a PvP focused role, but that's not really where the power in this weapon resides. It's actually arguably the best PvE legendary rocket launcher in the game right now and it does things that other rocket launchers just can't do. So let's take a closer look at this weapon. It belongs to the high impact frame archetype so it has the biggest blast radius out there but that's really not our concern. The main thing, the only thing we're really looking at here is the perk clown cartridge. Reloading randomly overfills the magazine from reserves. Now, this is an extremely rare perk. It was only added last season and it was only present on a linear fusion rifle. And normally for that weapon, it had a five round magazine. You'd reload, sometimes you had six, sometimes you have seven, sometimes you'd have eight. It truly is random. Sometimes you'll get more of a bonus than other times. But when we're dealing with an extremely low magazine size, in this case with a rocket launcher, literally one, you're going to reload and get two every single time. I have never ever got three and you can't even put backup mag on uh, a rocket launcher in order to try to get three. So that means basically this perk acts as have two rounds in the magazine every single reload. And of course, that's good. It's literally doubling the magazine, but it may be hard to realize just how powerful that is. Like I'm fawning over this weapon and it just goes from one to two. What's the big deal? Well, rocket launchers used to have their time to shine in the meta. They were the best PVE weapons for damaging bosses and so on when the game first came out. And part of the reason for that was the auto loading. So if you were standing in a well of radiance and you were reloading your gun instantly, well, rocket launchers do a ton of damage per shot and they only have like six or seven rounds in reserves. So you would get those six rounds off super quickly. But after that was fixed and there's no more auto loading, you have to reload after every single shot. And that just killed rocket launchers for damage phases because it extended the amount of time you deal your damage just massively. But Clown Cartridge is moving this weapon more towards the auto loading side. It's making it so that you're getting way more damage out in a shorter period of time. And we can actually see that in action when we test it against the traditional rocket launcher. Now our traditional rocket launcher in this example is this pyroclastic flow. This is a phenomenal weapon. Uh, it has some great PVE rolls. Cluster bomb is present here and that's a big deal. The tomorrow's answer can't actually get cluster bomb. So you may actually be giving up on some damage per shot when compared to another rocket launcher in its archetype with cluster bomb. But this ogre here is going to take four shots to kill. How long does that take with the pyroclastic flow reloading after every shot? Well, it's going to take 12.646 seconds from the moment I start shooting until the ogre is dead. Now, we go to the tomorrow's answer, and we reload it, and it has two rounds in a magazine. We take on the same ogre, again, four rounds to kill, and it does it in 7.407 seconds. That is 
quite a bit faster. Now, of course, if you go from zero and you get ammo for this weapon, you actually get one round automatically in the mag and you can't reload because it technically has a full mag. So let's say we start in that weird scenario with one round in a magazine and even in that scenario, we still end in 9.309 seconds. So quite a bit faster than your traditional rocket launcher. And we can see that exasperated even more so when we take the tomorrow's answer and we just shoot all six rounds as fast as we can, emulating like most damage phases, and it gets all of those rounds out in 11.545 seconds. Now, if we go to the traditional rocket launcher and we're not changing anything, we shoot those six rounds again, it's gonna take 19. 0.353 rounds. That is 68% slower. And that just shows you how powerful Clown Cartridge is. Yes, again, per shot damage, maybe a little bit less without Cluster Bomb, but what's the point of having a tiny bit more damage per shot if you can't even shoot all of your shots before the damage phase ends? This weapon gets its damage out way faster. And that matters for every single damage phase in the game. Like, there's no damage phase where you have an unlimited amount of time. All of them happen within around 10 seconds. Like, it's really not that long you have to damage uh, bosses in those phases. If it was unlimited time, the Anarchy Exotic Grenade Launcher would be the best weapon in the game, bar none. Because that weapon actually outputs, like, basically more damage than any other weapon. It just does it in such a slow amount of time ticking over and over and over again. So the fact that you're not using, I mean, you're using it in a lot of damage phases because it coincides well with other weapons, but that's why everyone is concerned with DPS and not total damage, right? When's the last time you, you know, went after a weapon because it has the best total damage number? Like, never. You're just looking for DPS. And this weapon makes the DPS of a rocket launcher just way higher than it would otherwise be. So, Clown Cartridge is by far like the standout perk. That is the thing you want more than anything else to make your PvE role viable. Without it, it's just a normal rocket launcher that doesn't do anything special. But of course, there's more perks that you can get in a role. So what are the best things to pair with it? Well, firstly, I would go with field prep in the other perk slot. It's gonna let you reload faster when crouched, which can definitely matter. And it's going to give you more rounds in reserves, which is going to matter as well. And normally you have those additional rounds and you don't have enough time to get them off in a damage phase. This time you actually do, so they matter more than ever. And then I would definitely pair that with the one other perk you're looking for, Impact Casing. Impact Casing uh, deals more damage for direct hits. Not that much more, but it's just extra damage. And extra damage is extra damage. You definitely want it rather than not have it. Now with all of that being said, we've talked about how good this weapon is compared to other rocket launchers and boss phases, but not everything is a boss phase. In fact, 90% of the activity leading up to the boss phase, you know, is going to matter as well. So how is this weapon just normally throughout the game? Well, it's great. It's the high impact rocket launcher, so the blast radius just melts everything on your screen, and even then, the abilities of Clown Cartridge really come up because you're often hitting enemies and stunning them with that initial rocket and then normally by the time you reload, they're out of the stun and they're just walking away again. But with this weapon, it's super easy to just hit the ground, stun, you know, the bigger tier enemy, the, you know, yellow bar enemy that you're fighting and then get that second shot while they're stunned direct impact every time. Like, that's something, that's a play pattern that I have started doing a ton with this rocket launcher. Not only that, and I've said this in previous videos and I'm gonna say it again, rocket launchers benefit massively from the current ammo economy. If you put on two rocket launcher finders and two rocket launcher scavengers, oh my goodness, you just get so much ammo. Especially, God forbid, if you have like a fallen armaments on, like geez, you are just swimming in ammo. If you pick up a finder brick, you get three rounds for your rocket launcher. Three rounds of rocket deals so much damage. If you have the same setup for a grenade launcher, you get like four rounds. And four rounds of grenade launcher compared to three rounds of rocket, it's not even close. So you are just swimming in ammo as long as you have those finders and scavengers equipped. 
And one more thing I'm going to mention is that if you are doing that and you're just getting heavy bricks all over the place, that's actually a great time to pair that loadout with a special weapon that has that brand new lead from gold perk, which is going to give it more ammo if you pick up a heavy brick and heavy finder bricks count as well. So you're going to be getting all these heavy bricks and it's also going to be reloading your special weapon and one you have access to right away is in the season's pass at level like 45 the shotgun that has led uh, from gold as part of that role so just something to keep in mind guys that's it for the video so stop deleting your tomorrow's answers look for that god roll i hope you enjoyed the video found this informative and if you did please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video if you guys want to see more destiny 2 content similar to this don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button if you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity the best way is to follow me on twitter at rick Kakis. that's linked in the description down below again i hope you enjoyed the video and as always have a good day.